Good morning. How are you doing, everyone? I hope you're doing well. It's Sunday again. It's the first day of the week. So, everyone, how is your weekend? What was interesting about your weekend? What did you do? And how is Ramadan? I hope everything is okay. So, it's English class, and today we have new vocabulary words to learn. We have four new vocabulary words to learn, everyone. That's why I want you to be focused and also listen carefully to Miss Mona. So, everyone, look at these kids. They're very excited. They are putting their hands in the air. So everyone, put your hands in the air, up, up, your hands, and shout, it's English class. So everyone, I need someone to read the day and date. So, what's the day? Sunday. And the date? May 10, 2020. Excellent. So, are you ready to start the lesson? Yes. So, let's get started. So, my lovely students, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to understand the meaning of each word and also use grade level vocabulary in sentences. So everyone, how many vocabulary words we're going to learn today? Four. Four. Well done. So let's get started. Okay, and something else. Get your English book because we're going to use it. I want you to open page 374, okay? And please write the day and date before you start something else here are the four vocabulary words that we're gonna learn for today so everyone every time we have a new vocabulary words to learn we're gonna look at the picture describe it and then read the sentence and the picture and the sentence will help us to understand the meaning of each word so here we go everyone this is our first word for today so what i want you to do is to look at the picture and describe what do you see so what do you see everyone i see a girl looking at the box okay so what does this mean means she's maybe curious to know what's in the box so she can't wait to know what is in the box. So she is curious. Let's listen to the word together everyone and I want you to repeat. Curious. 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 I am curious to find out what is in the box. Curious. If you are curious about something, you want to learn more about it. So she wants to know what is in the box and she wants to learn more about it. So let's go to the definition. Listen carefully. Curious. If you are curious about something, you want to learn more about it. I am curious to find out what is in the box. Describe how you look when you are curious about something. So everyone, if you are curious about something, you want to learn more about it. So, here is the key word. Learn. Okay? Learn. So everyone, do you remember in the science subject when we went outside to the playground and you were very curious to learn about insects? You were carrying your magnifying glasses and looking all around the place. You were curious to learn about insects. 
Okay, and let's go to the last question over here. Describe how you look when you are curious about something. When I am curious, I want to learn more about it or know more about it. Like when my mom brought me a gift, I was so curious that I opened it very quickly. Okay, and what was the gift, by the way? It was a big, enormous, beautiful teddy bear. Wow, that's so cool. And now, let's move to our second vocabulary word for today. I want you to look at the picture and tell me what can you see. Remember to use adjective words because adjective words will help you to describe. Do you remember the adjective words that we have learned before? Okay, so let's describe the picture together. I see a small girl waving her hand. Waving her hand. And do you think the people who's in the other boat can see her? She is waving her hand to the people from far away at the second boat. So, are they far from her? Yes. And she still can see them, right? Yes. Good. So, let's go and read the word together. I want you everyone to repeat. Okay? Listen and repeat. Distance. Distance. So, let's read the sentence now, everyone. Distance. Lily waved from a distance, but her friend did not see her. So let's read the definition together. Distance. If you see something from a distance, you see it from far away. Lily waved from a distance, but her friend did not see her. Tell about something that is at a distance from you right now. So everyone, distance means um, if you see something from a distance, you see it from far away. Again, if you see something from a distance, you see it from far away. For example, you are standing over here. Okay, everyone. And you can see the, let's say, the mountain you can see the mountain from far away okay so if you see something from a distance you see it from far away okay so everyone i can i can say distance is how far one thing from another thing so you are so far from the mountain. So let's read what's written over here. Lily waved from a distance, but her friend did not see her. Because they were far from her. They were far from her. So tell about something that is at a distance from you right now. What I can see now right now from a distance is Burj Khalifa from my building it's far away from here but it's in a distance that I can see wow that's so it sounds great and here we go this is our third vocabulary word for today so I want everyone to look at the picture and to describe what can you see? I can see trees and a river. And water. Well done. And we have learned in the science before what does a river mean, right everyone? Yeah. Okay, so the water or let me say the river and the trees are found in the nature, 
right? Yes. And we call them Earth resources. I want everyone to listen and repeat. Earth resources. Earth resources. Water and trees are important earth resources. Let's read the definition together, everyone. Earth resources. Earth resources are things found in nature that people can use. Water and trees are important earth resources. What are some other earth resources? Okay, everyone. So, things that are, let's say, earth resources are things found in nature that people can use. Okay? So, water and trees are important earth resources. So, let's everyone think about more or what are some other earth resources. I want you to help me and let's brainstorm and uh, try to mention some earth resources. And you know what? You can use your background knowledge because in the science subject we have learned uh, about earth resources. Yeah, I remember that in, we took in science that in mountains we can use rocks as earth resources. Well done! Um, this is our last word for today. So the lesson of today is super easy, I think, and you are lucky to learn new vocabulary words, right? Because these words will help you to read later on and we have a new story. So before reading the story, we need to know the new vocabulary words. So, look at the picture everyone and tell me what can you see. I can see a rhinosaurus. So can you describe it? Yes, it's very big very big well done and what else and it has very long horns and two ears right and what is the color gray gray so i like it when you said it's big and the word of today is enormous which means very big so I want you everyone to listen carefully and repeat. Enormous. 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 The bird looked tiny on top of the enormous rhinoceros. Enormous. Something that is enormous is very large in size or amount. The bird looked tiny on top of the enormous rhinoceros. What is another word for enormous? So everyone, uh, look at the bird and look at the animal. So as you can see, the animal is too big and large in size, while the bird is very small in small. size. Excellent. So it was written here, the bird looked tiny on the top of the enormous rhinosaurus. So, can you think, of everyone, about another word for enormous? Yeah. And we said it, it was big. We say big and also large. So, the key word is over here. The key word is large in size. size large in size so everyone now let's revise the words the first word uh, that we have learned today is curious and what does it mean wanting to learn more about something so the girl wants to know or she uh, let me say wants to find out what is in the 
box. So the keyword over here, learn. Okay, wanting to learn more about something. Let's go to the second picture. Lily wave from a distance. Okay, and what does it mean? Space between two places. Space between two places. And the space is far. Yeah, far. Well done. So, distance we can say space. <coughs> long, sorry, long space. So, and here we go. Look at this picture. The word is earth resources. Well done. And what is the meaning? Things that is found in nature that people can use. The nature, everyone, is made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, the nature, if I say nature, we can talk about forests, jungles, what else? Oceans. So, these things are made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not by people. That's why we need to uh, keep it clean and nice. So if you go to the beach, please don't, for example, throw the garbage. Or if you are at the park, don't, you know, uh, make the place dirty and so on. Because people can take from the nature a lot of things water and they can take the wood from trees to build houses and furniture also they can use the rocks they can take it from the mountains so people can get use of nature and they can uh, find a lot of things that they need in their life and here is the last word let's read it enormous Okay, so what is the meaning? Very large in size. Very large in size. Okay, so let, for the last time, let's say the words together. Let's say them together, everyone, as loud as you can. So, the first one is? Curious. Distant. Earth resources enormous. Thank you for helping. Okay, so here is task number one. Task number one. Okay, everyone. So what you need to do is to choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. So very large in size. So what is the word everyone? Is it curious, distance, earth resources, or enormous? So what do you think? Which one is correct when we say very large in size? Enormous. Enormous. Well done. This is the word. Okay, let's go to number two. Things found in nature that people can use and we call them natural resources. What are they? Earth resources. Well done. Okay, and here we go. See something from far away. You can see something from far away. So, is it? Curious, distance, earth resources, or enormous distance. Well done. And finally, wanting to learn more about something. Curious. First one, everyone. First one. So, thank you for helping. 
Okay, everyone, choose the correct word from the box below to complete each sentence. So let's read the words over here. Let's read them together. Curious, distance, earth resources, enormous. Okay, so let's read the first one. And there are some pictures here. The pictures also will help you to guess the meaning. So let's read the first one. She will climb that mountain in the distance. Excellent. So can you give me the spelling? D-I-S-T-A-N-C-E. Well done. Let's move to number two. An elephant is an enormous animal. Well done. Big in size or large in size. size so can you give me the spelling yes e n o r m o u s so we are done okay distance and enormous two more words left so let's read number three he is Curious about the caterpillar. So, what is the spelling? C U R I O S. Okay, and the last one water and trees are important earth resources. Okay, so can you give me the spelling? E a R T H R E S O U R C E S. Thank you for helping. So we are done. Let's go to our closure so here is the vocabulary word and here is the definition so you're gonna read the word and then write the definition and also you can use it in a sentence and draw a picture for example let's do the first one so can you help me to read this yes Enormous. And what does it mean? Large in size. Large in size. Okay, use it in a sentence. Let's say. These trees were enormous in size. Okay. Or these trees are enormous. Are enormous. So, okay, so tell me what's wrong about my sentence? The, that you didn't capitalize the beginning of the letter and okay. you didn't end it with a period. So everyone, you need to be careful. You need to start your sentence with a capital letter and end your sentence with a period, okay? So don't do the same. I just want to see how smart you are. Okay, everyone. So here's the capital letter. And here is the period. And what you're going to do is to draw a picture for example, I will draw a picture of enormous trees, okay? It means very large in size. So, thank you everyone for listening. Enjoy your time. 
See you in math class. Stay home, stay safe. Bye.